Hi, everyone, and welcome back to the show. Now, we've talked a lot in the past about medical therapy for androgenic alopecia or male pattern hair loss, and we've done multiple videos and deep dives on the 5-alpha reductase inhibitors, such as finasteride and dutasteride. And understandably, one of the concerns that people have about these medications is the risk of side effects. All right. And so if there are people that cannot or do not want to take oral 5-alpha reductase inhibitors, then there is another option that I'd like to discuss with you today, and that's around dutasteride mesotherapy. Now, this is when we inject tiny amounts of this medication into the superficial layer of the skin. Now, mesotherapy has been around for decades, and specifically with dutesteride, it was first introduced back in 2009. But in 2023, it became a bit more mainstream and is now documented uh, to be one of the main things that we have in our armory to really to try and stabilize hair loss. And we can see that it's been studied quite well. There's good clinical data. Uh, the concentrations uh, used in these studies vary between 0.05% to 0.005%. And the outcomes demonstrated, uh, you know, uh, they've shown between 60 to 90% of patients uh, in the studies experienced some degree of improvement. The recommended interval between treatments are between uh, around every three months. And that's really manageable for most people. And the great thing, uh, like with most other modalities, is that it can be used in con uh, conjunction with other treatment options like minoxidil, for example. So is it better than oral? Probably not. You know, you're probably going to get a higher systemic level and hence effect with the oral medications. But it is appropriate in people who don't want to take an oral 5-alpha reductase inhibitor or who are getting side effects from the oral medication. And so in our clinic, we're performing this uh, procedure and we do it under a local anesthetic ring block. And we also mix the dutasteride with uh, a local anesthetic as well. And we use a small mesotherapy needle that's just sort of four millimeters uh, long. Um, and this is a treatment that can be done in both men and women, and the side effects are, are minimal. And really the most common one that we see is a, a little bit of uh, skin irritation. So I hope that you found that useful and you know a, a bit of an understanding on uh, what this treatment modality is. And if you're interested in knowing more, make sure you check in with your doctor and get more information. Thanks again for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you on the next episode.